Okay, this video we're going to talk about preparation of dials. I think you're going to find most of the information in this video is review of either things that we did in 1211 or things that we've done earlier in this chapter. So first, just a note on the nomenclature of dials. So a dial, as, as you may have guessed, is die two alls, right? So we have two OH groups in the same compound. We name them using the same methodology as we do alcohols, except just because uh, I think probably it sounds better, we don't drop the E from the alkane name. And then the suffix is dial. So this compound has three carbons. It would be 1,3-propane diol, or this would be 1,5-hexane diol. So in the last video, we talked about how we can make alcohols from the reductions of ketones and aldehydes. Well, if I have two keto groups or a ketone and an aldehyde, I can use all of the reactions that we learned in the last video, either catalytic hydrogenation, lithium aluminum hydride, or sodium borohydride to convert the diketone into the diol. All right, and then last semester, we also learned uh, two reactions uh, where we can convert an alkene into a uh, diol, uh, either through anti-dihydroxylation, where if one OH goes on the wedge, the other one goes on the dash, or syn-dihydroxylation, where both OHs go uh, are added to the same uh, side. And actually, I think this is a typo here. Uh, this was not chapter 9. Uh, these reactions were in chapter 8. All right, so just two examples uh, based on the previous slide. So I want to predict the product of the following reaction. MCPBA is a peroxy acid, so it's like the, uh, the RCO3H. Uh, and so this is going to give me anti-dihydroxylation. And so I'm going to get... One OH is on the wedge, one OH is on the dash. And we want to think about the stereochemistry, whether or not I'm going to get uh, an enantiomer in this case. But I think, uh, as we did a couple times last semester, right, we can rotate around this single bond. If I do that, I can rewrite the compound like this. So even though we have two chiral centers, we have the reflection plane so this compound is meso, so we're not going to get an enantiomer. We're just going to get the one product. Okay, now uh, we're going to have syn dihydroxylation. So in this case, both OHs would add end up on the wedge. Um, in the last case, when I had the wedge and a dash, it was meso. In this case, it's not going to be, right? If I try to rotate this one, right, I don't have a reflection plane. So in this case, I will also get the enantiomer, where I can put them both, instead of being on the wedge, I'd put them both on the dash.